Um, I, I think from my point of view is I, I, I care a lot about representing um, a broad range of voices and I think good media includes a broad range of voices but I think just from a pure business sense what I want to do is I want to create content that reaches the widest possible audience across the UK and you're not going to reach the widest popular, popular possible audience unless you are representing that audience and giving a voice to people from that audience. And one of the things I feel really strongly about and what we try and do on BBC Three, and I think particularly since we've moved online, we've got more of an opportunity to do it, is to give a platform to voices that are seldom heard. We do a series called um, Things Not To Say To, which is a short series of, um, uh, you know, we, we could cover a broad range of subjects from you know, ethnicity to facial disfigurement to different various mental illnesses to gender issues and women wearing burqas and so on and so forth. There's two aspects to that. One is we give a platform to the people to actually talk about those issues, so the people who belong to those groups or those communities um, to talk about those issues. The other part of it, which I think is equally important, and I think the reason audiences like it is because they learn something from it. So a lot of people have probably never spoken to or never heard from somebody who has vitiligo or a facial disfigurement or indeed wears a burqa. But through those films you can kind of get an understanding of those people and I think what it helps to do is it helps to kind of break down those barriers, it stops that social awkwardness and it also is just a, a kind of a, a way of kind of you know um, helping people understand and to hear those voices.